Hey guys, Goldfinch is going to help lead the way with RWA real world assets, tokenization of things such as real estate and more in the next upcoming bull run. Real world assets, I think, will even outpace artificial intelligence as the hottest sector in the next coming years. But it's not just going to fizzle out with the bull run. This has actual utility in real world assets. We're going to go over in this video what is real world assets and why is it such a big deal? What is Goldfinch? and how are they doing with lending via USDC to borrowers and more. But first, guys, I want to welcome you all back to Freeman Finance and Crypto, where if it makes money, it makes sense. And as you all know, Real World Assets is going to be huge. And I've had multiple people request me to review Goldfinch down in the comments. So that is exactly what we're doing for the community, guys. I've looked at Proppy, Maple. Those are all things I called out a couple months ago when they were a lot cheaper than they are now. But I have yet to talk about Goldfinch. So let's just do a review over that. Then we'll get into what is RWA and some more information about this, this crypto. But first off, I have to say, out of the hundreds and hundreds of cryptos I review, this has to be the nicest website and most professional website I have seen. The only nicer website is Internet Computer. But as far as like a lending platform, this looks very Web 2-ish and professional, which I really, really appreciate. So as you can see here, Goldfinch is revolutionizing the $1 trillion plus global private debt market by connecting USDC investors to proven off-change credit funds and fintech. So one thing when it comes to DeFi and lending is a lot of the times you see Tether, USDT. USDC is the second largest stable coin, but it's quite a bit away from Tether. But why is Goldfinch using USDC? And this is one of the biggest bullish reasons. And it's because of its Coinbase backing. Circle or USDC is backed heavily by Coinbase. Well, so is Goldfinch. And if that's not a reason to be bullish, I don't know what is. So as it says here, the community behind Goldfinch, a DeFi lender, reached to deploy the protocol on base, a layer two blockchain launched and backed by major crypto exchange Coinbase. So not only is Goldfinch backed by Coinbase Ventures, they are also launching on Base, which is a layer two to Ethereum that is also backed by guess who? Coinbase Ventures. And we've seen a lot of base protocols really blowing up lately. So first, let's dig into the price of Goldfinch. So I seen it earlier at $4.10. I actually set buy orders at $4 flat. It didn't execute. It's went up. I do not currently hold any Goldfinch. I'm heavy in Propy. I'm heavy in uh, Maple. I'm heavy in True Fight. But I am looking to get a position in this, not financial advice, just what I'm doing. But you can see here, guys, it's went from a, a little over a dollar a month ago up to over four dollars if we trend this back a year it was even as low as like 40 cents 30 cents which is crazy and it's currently only at 128 bit million 128 million dollar market cap but let's get into what real world asset is right now for folks that may not know so real world assets this is refers to the tokenization of tangible assets that exist in the physical world that are brought on chain so this is bringing anything from real estate to it could be cars i think one day it'll be social security your driver's license your id i believe all that will be on chain but the first real world asset was really stable coins bridging currency real world currency to the blockchain on chain and we've seen other ones we've seen multiple uh, fiat currencies pegged and made on with a one-to-one -one backing uh, stable coin we've also seen there's gold backing backing to one troy ounce backing to one gram stuff like that but as you can see here it says during the crypto run-up of 2021 uncollateralized lending platforms such as maple and clearpool allowed users to borrow funds without the need to post collateral well that is obviously risky um, some of these are still around some of them have went under you know we had ftx collapsed we had a 2ac collapse and that is very scary when it comes to any uncollateralized lending platform but let's look into how the lending on goldfinch works and just how they secure it and make sure that it is not 
um, not risky. So as you can see here, Goldfinch is a decentralized credit protocol that allows crypto borrowing without crypto collateral. So you don't have to have Bitcoin to put up or anything like that. These loans are instead fully collateralized off chain. This is where a real world assets turn into that. A lot of these DeFi loans, decentralized finance loans, will go for real world assets. Well, it's a lot easier if you had collateral of, let's say, a house. Okay, you had collateral of a house that's something that's off chain right but if that house was a real world asset and tokenized you could do the same thing you could hold the collateral on chain even though it's a physical tangible piece of property off chain so let's get into the actual token a little more and how that works so as you know investors uh give up usdc and that is lent to borrowers remember usdc is heavily backed by coinbase and so there's two different really people that need to go into this you have backers and then liquidity providers so the backers decide whether to invest in them directly with first loss capital so what this means is whenever a loan is given out the backers are the people that really approve or disapprove the loan and with that being done they also have what's called first loss capital which means they're paid back second which means they're the riskier part of the loan and with that with risk comes reward so there's also a higher yield for them then there's also what they consider liquidity providers they supply second loss capital to the senior pool which automatically allocates its funds across all borrower pools according to the assessment of backers and so how do we know that who we are lending our usdc to is reputable and there's a couple ways so they conduct due diligence goldfinch collects their due diligence by four ways they conduct research on the borrower using both public resources and borrower profiles via Goldfinch. They review the in-depth data room provided by borrowers, and this is on the Goldfinch D app. And then they, they joining the borrower's private two-way messaging channel, and they just ask questions. You know, what's your income like? What collateral do you have? Stuff like that. And then post-investment is joining the borrower communications channel to access regular reporting, investor relations, private two-way communication communication channels with other investors and continuing to engage with the bar so that's very very important and let's get back to the website so currently there's 102.2 million total capital deployed in the senior pool it's a 7.81 percent um, APY and let's dig down here a little bit and I highly recommend everyone going to watch this video it's really short and stuff like that but it's compliance forward architecture so it says crypto investing doesn't have to be the wild west this does not have to be how things were three or four years ago this can be very safe for the for the lender and it can be very efficient for the bar so all participants conduct KYC KYC is know your customer this is basically they are who they say they are they are not some random person with a JPEG on on Twitter or anything like that and so then like I said in invest with USDC which is fully backed and a lot of people believe that is more transparent than tether myself included and then also this is what that gated data room is borrows provide an NDA gated data room we're proposing a borrower pool to the network including historical performance investment performance transaction structures deal specific documentations for the proposed pool and more so as i said guys this is the most professional and nice website i have ever seen for a DeFi company guys let me know down below if you know of one that i don't i would love to look at it but what is going on with rwa guys this is going to be huge blackrock is totally involved they came out recently and talked about how big real world assets is going to be and this article was written a couple years ago but it was basically just talking about how tokenized treasury saw explosive growth as users flock for exposure to rising UST bills. And so if this was happening back in 2022, 2023, it is especially going to happen now. But the world is on the cusp of tokenization boom. The tokenization industry, this is real world assets, is projected to reach a valuation of three to five trillion by 2023 this is jp morgan and blackrock already
already interested in it. BlackRock has already talked about it, guys, and if BlackRock talks about it, it's going to happen. BlackRock is the one who led the way for the Bitcoin ETF, and so Real World Assets is going to be huge. They've got $10 trillion in assets under management already. And so what does $5 trillion look like? Let's go back to coin market cap, guys. And the market cap for crypto right now is $2.5 trillion. People will think I'm crazy because they've never seen anything worth more than Bitcoin. And I'm not saying that one token itself will have more market cap than Bitcoin, but I do believe real world asset as a sector will have more market cap than Bitcoin. I believe that crypto will be divided up into a couple sectors. I believe there will be real world assets, which is things that are actually tangible and can actually be utilized to replace what we know for the last hundred years as traditional finance. That's what you will consider as a user type token, something that you actually need for mortgages. You need it for business loans. You need it something like that. Number two, I think will be Bitcoin and other tokens such as Caspa that can be used for payment. And you could also throw an ISO 2022 tokens in there, such as HBAR or anything that will do payment for from one entity to another. And then the third sector, I believe, will be your poo-poo coins. Um, just random things that are new starts that are trying to start up. But this might not be just limited to that. We may see a fourth sector pop up later in our life when there's the need for it. That's one thing about capitalism. When there's a need, the market makes it. If there is a product that is needed, the market makes it. And that is the beauty of capitalism but guys i do i think goldfinch will be one of the best acting cryptocurrencies not just rwa but just crypto projects in general i really really believe in it but i believe in the rwa sector entirely and i think it is the most needed crypto sector in all of the world guys but first I just want to, before I sign off, thank you all again for joining Freeman Finance and Crypto, or if it makes money, it makes sense. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about Goldfinch? Are you into any RWAs or any DeFi? What about Maple? What about Propy? Any of those since I called those out a couple months ago. And hey, watch one of these two videos up above, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you.